What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about my top designer perfumes that I own. Of course there are a lot more perfumes that I own but I tried to separate them a little bit and to think about it why I like them the most. So yeah, let's get started. The first is 9.0 by Zara and it was released in 2015 in a collection of three perfumes. It was 9.0, 8.0 and 7.0 and last year in 2018 they're also joined 6.0. So uh, in this 9.0 there are a lot of deep spicy notes. I'm sorry that I <laughs> showed the bottle again. There are a lot of deep spicy notes. Actually there are the ingredients on the bottle. Bergamot, juniper, coriander, pepper, cardamom, orris, vetiver, amber and cedarwood. I um, use this actually very often, um, but always outside. I don't think that people that are not into fragrances like we are uh, like this perfume indoor because it could be kind of overwhelming. But if you're going outside and it's cold outside and you got some spritz of Zara 9.0, you're getting a little bit warm and... You Sorry guys, my camera just stopped filming because there was no space left and yeah. Okay, so you're getting this, this real warm and cuddling feeling out of this perfume. So it's a really great one. The next one is more for hotter days, for the summer. It's Jill Sander Day for a man, uh, Sun for a man. And yeah, there are a couple of marine notes inside. There are juniper in the top note. There are, uh, uh, fruity mid notes. I think there was apple inside and benzoin, benzoin uh, in the base. And yeah, it's a really great perfume if you want to hang out where it's hot outside, when when you're at the beach and uh, you want to apply a perfume that's not overwhelming other people and that you can smell and and feel very good and comfortable with it. So this is a good choice then. The third perfume is. Life by Esprit and actually this is another kind of a perfume that the other perfumes are. It's a very very cheap one. There is a short longevity, there's no huge projection but the big plus on this one is the price. You can buy it for literally five bucks in the store or maybe ten, I'm not sure but I never paid more than 10 bucks for this perfume and it's a really easy, really great one. It's fresh, it's not um, not complex, it doesn't develop. It's a very simple, cheap perfume for, uh, I don't know, maybe for people that want to get into perfumes and first need something cheaper or if they ever bought the first perfume. It was actually my first perfume that I bought about 12 years ago when I started to buy perfume for my own. And yeah, it's simple, it's great, it's life by Esprit. <laughs> the next two perfumes are very similar to each other so I decided to present them both at once. So the first one is Aqua de Gio by Giorgio Armani and the second one is Davidoff Cool Water. So they are both very refreshing, they are both got um, marine notes inside uh, or the ocean, a uh, combination of sweet and salty sea ingredients. Um, both have a very uh, masculine kind of woody base but in the opening they are different. In the opening, in Aqua de Gio are a lot of citrusy notes and in Dark of Cool Water there are, I think, non-citrusy notes in the opening but there are more, um, there, there's, there's mint and more refreshing floral aromatic fragrances, and, uh, fragrances uh, ingredients inside. So, I like them both the same way. Um, Either this one or that one I'm always taking to sports. After sport, uh, when I'm showered, I I apply this one or this one because they are both great. You you feeling a little bit more powerful after applying one of these perfumes, and the freshness is is great. The uh, longevity is okay. The projection is um, I, I think in David of Cool Water a little bit better. Then an Aqua de Gio and with better I mean stronger. Um, yeah, but both great after sports, refreshing, repowering perfumes. 
And now the final number six. My actually absolute favorite perfume from designer perfumes that I own. It's uh, Louis, but not the designer Louis by Guerlain. That's called as the first great niche unisex combination of perfumes. No, it's Louis Emporio Armani by Giorgio Armani. And this one is amazing. I use it a lot. I prefer this one on dates, on uh, restaurant visits, uh, when I'm going out with Jana, when uh, I'm meeting with friends, when I'm going to the bar. It's an all-rounder of evening activities that you can do. Um, or if you're going to play some pool or bowling or you want to go to the cinema, anything. This one completes your outfit with a very great smell that long that, that lasts very long that uh, doesn't get an overwhelming projection it's quite right and yeah guys that was all for today i thank you very much for your attention i really appreciate it also the very nice comments that i'm getting under the last videos if you didn't subscribe this channel do it right now down below there's also a like button and the share button and the commentary section you can use all of them so yeah thank you very much and see you in the next video bye